So today we are doing our food and wine on $100. We got a $100 gift card. We just stopped by Simmering Sips and got the sour something ale. Uh, it was a sour berry ale mimosa. Sour berry ale mimosa. I haven't tried it yet. I want to have some of our food first. So we're going to Hawaii to get some food. Alrighty, we got the Kahlua pork slider, which we've gotten every year. It's so tiny. I remember it being bigger last year. I'm going to try the ale. Wow, it smells like reeks of alcohol. Wow, it's actually sour. I don't like it. You can have it. I don't want a bite of this. Oh, hot. Mmm. Okay. You like it? Mm-hmm. Pineapple's not my favorite, and there's a lot of pineapple on this. Yeah. So typically, I take the mm -hmm. pineapple off. Oh, it's so good, though. She eats the pineapple and then I eat the pork. Oh, so good. <laughs> Don't die. Mm. Do we have water in it? Mm hmm. All right, what's this, Jared? This is the roasted lamb chop. From Australia. Go ahead and try it. Or oh, you're not going to use a fork? How is it? I like it. I really taste the mint. The mint, really? Speaking of the mint uh, pesto. I like I just tried it. I cut it all over myself. It's so good. The pesto, like the basil mixed in with the mint leaves. Very good. It's got like a sting to it almost. Like not in a bad way. It's, yeah. like, it tastes like spicy, but like not like a bad spicy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> got it. <laughs> So Australia was my choice. We're doing this in under $100, so sometimes we have to make choices. So the next one will be Danny's choice. Oh, okay. And I think the one she's choosing- The apple crumb tart. Yeah, is the apple crumb tart from the apple seed orchard. I, I might- wanted one of the drinks, but- I might get one of the drinks though. The next choice is whatever we get Cause here, I know I Danny's like the choice, apple crumb tart. I picked the lamb chopped over her choice. Yeah. So we'll see what it is in a second. We got the apple crumb tart. You can try it. This was Danny's choice. You like it? I taste that uh, brown sugar and apple. It's very good. And we have about seventy-two dollars left. Yep, seventy-two twenty-five. So we are about one fourth of the way done. Yeah. One fourth of the way done. You had what? Three things. Yep. Well, no. We got four. We had the slider, the drink, the lamb chop. Oh, I forgot about the lamb chop. How did I forget? That was so good. So four yep. things. Four That's things. Not bad. Next up is um, France and uh, Ireland. 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 We're gonna get some coffee. So that's where we're going next. What do you think, babe? So in Ireland and in France, we have another split choice. So Danny decided she wanted her thing in Ireland, which means I'll get my thing in France. And what she picked was the coffee shake, the Guinness Twinnings coffee shake. Yes. It's so, I'm gonna like let him drink some cause I will like finish the whole thing. It's so good. It tastes like a coffee drink. <laughs> so this is the one I picked from France since Danny got her uh, Coffee. For Ireland coffee. Mm -hmm. It is a beignet filled with cheese. Cheese. Cheese beignet. So we're gonna have this now. It tastes like cheesy bread. Yep. The beignet is a little sweeter than most cheesy breads you would get like from a pizza place. <laughs> it really is good though. You can probably dip your cheesy bread in the in the dips. <laughs> so this is our Morocco. It is breast to break bread with various dips. I know they listed the dips, but I don't have the thing in front of me. It's a hummus, something like, something that starts with a Z, Z-H or something. Hummus, chimichurri, and chimichurri. I can't see it, so I don't know. So hummus, chimola, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. And zong dips, zong, zong dips. I'm sure I mispronounced 
Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum. So, if you know anything about the layout of food and wine, you will notice that we are skipping some stands. And you have to if you want to do. Uh, you can't do all of them. Right. If you want to like do it under 100 bucks. You can't do everything. You can't do all of them. <laughs> so, we're picking the ones that we think either interest us that we haven't tried before. There are some that we've had multiple times that we have to have. Yeah. But something like the Brazil and Belgium, we've had them before. They're not our favorites, so we're skipping them to have other things, such as this cheese bread and some other things down the line I've never had before I'm looking forward to. So yeah, we are skipping some stuff. So far, we're at the halfway point. Uh, we have had, Jared just told me we had seven items. You can correct my math. Um, but yeah. Right. So. so this is what we got from Greece. A, yeah, a lamb euro. And this is much bigger than I thought it would be. This is like half a sandwich, not a snack type of thing. <laughs> what you think? Yeah. Good? Mm-hmm. It's a good deli sandwich. <laughs> it looks like a sandwich. That's like a good size. Just looking at his like his hand. That's a decent size. Alright, so this is the adventurous pick. I pulled rank in Japan, and I got takoyaki, which are octopus put into balls and deep fried, and then served with, I don't remember, because I don't have the little menu. What's the menu? With green onion and cabbage, topped with a, a tonkatsu sauce, bonito flakes, and nori. So, let's try octopus ones. It's definitely interesting. Um, interesting in a good way or interesting in a bad way? It has that fishy quality. Mm, yeah. A lot like sushi. But it does not have the texture of sushi. Is it gummy? Are you kidding? Here. <laughs> Try one. adventure pick in Japan we went with a safe pick in America which makes sense because it's America nothing would be adventurous to us we live here so we went with Danny's pulling rank the carrot cake which we've had every year and it's always good mm, I think so it's so empty in here I go we're in the Germany quick food service. I've never seen it this empty before. <laughs> It's a watermelon and pineapple, my two favorite fruits. <gasps> Are you sure? It is hot. It's gonna be melting. It's good. Now I got this. You want some? All right, now I gotta get to work. We are reaching the end line. We have $25 left. Finish line's in sight. We're on the final stretch. Let's see how far this 25 bucks will go. So, India. I got the chicken tikka masala, which is not a uh, adventurous pick because I've had good. these before in restaurants, um, specifically in Animal Kingdom Lodge, <laughs> and I know I really like it. So it's really good, though. And it comes with naan bread, which I know we both really like. Naan bread and rice, and also the cone is gobbled up. You underestimated. I did. He was like, are you sure you don't want that in a bowl? Because I thought sure? it wouldn't melt. But. It did melt. It melted in my mouth. Mm, I love cone ice cream. Right. So we're reaching the end. We're both getting very full. Danny is dying because she had some spicy rice. He made me. He let me eat spicy rice and we are out of water. And we are running out of money. So we got three things left. 
the next will be a margarita. Well, we, we have more than three things, but we're we're only we have enough for three things. Yes, we have enough money for around three things left in average. So. Enjoying the saxophone, I switched out with the DJ, and just vibing, having a good time. Did it, did it talk? Did it talk? I, I just joined Jared. That trash can right there. It's a talking trash can. <laughs> you can tell which one's a talking trash can because there's an outlet oh. and the trash can is plugged in. It's that so one. It's plugged in. <laughs> but, uh, so when the DJ was up, I was like, do you think they can play September? And then when he came up, I went to Jerry and I was like, do you think he knows September? I was like this close to saying something. I was like, no, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm not gonna be that person. And it took me a second. I wish you got my reaction when it started. Because I was like, oh my God. I was like in shock and then I screamed. And I started jumping up. <laughs> Magic. Magic. I got the oysters with looks like a little bit of lemon on the side. I'm super excited. I love this. It tastes so good. What's going on over there? So yeah, we left the brewing with the saxophone player. He was amazing. We really liked him, but we do have to get home at some point. This looks really gross, but it tastes really good. Yeah, that's what a lot of people say. It tastes like butter. You want some? No, I'm good. Enough for one last item. Six dollars. Six dollars left. I could have listened to that saxophone guy forever. Right? It was so good. It was a lot of fun in there. Yeah. Here it is. The last item on our food and wine for under 100. A Rocky Road chocolate cake. We end it with a dollar 75 left. Is it good? It's very chocolatey. <laughs> so we're here on October 2nd, um, the day after the 40th anniversary um, was merchandise was released at Puff 40. And I'm gonna do a quick little pan here in just a second, but they have lounge fly wallets, lounge fly backpacks, they have little figment plushies, they have figment mystery pins, they have pins for every single country, keychains, they have magic band plus bands, they have several different types of water bottles, um, some corksicle, some not, so if you're not for that, there's that. They have several different t-shirts um, with like the basic logo on it, they have spirit jerseys, um, zip ups, They have kids shirts too. And yeah, so I'm gonna do a quick pan just to kind of give you a little sneak peek. And it's all only in the Connection store. We went all around World Showcase. It's only in the Connection store. Alrighty, Jared. Alrighty. We finished. Food of mine. Under $100. This music got really like suspenseful and epic all of a sudden. We finished food and wine and under $100. Our gift card has $1.75 left. I have no idea what we'll do with it. We'll probably get take it home I'll and forget probably, it. I should have used it. <laughs> Pop my, we went in and we got, I got a lounge fly bag. We got um, a really nice shirt for Jared. It's like the lightest material shirt he's got. And then we got, um, they had pins for each one of the countries. We got Mexico, because that's my favorite pavilion, because I am part Mexican. And we got Japan, because it was a stitch it was pin. Stitch. And Jared needed it for his collection. Plus, I love Japan. And he loves Japan. It's one of your favorite pavilions. And so that's what we got so far. But they had a lot of really good goodies and stuff. So if like, you love Epcot, highly recommend. Oh, it looks like we're getting posters, too. Um, they're, like they're handing it out personally or per for free. <laughs>
Thank you. Those are so cool. Thank you so much. Yay. Very cool. Very cool, Jared. Mom and dad don't get one. <laughs> yeah. We'll give one. Oh, it's holographic too. Ooh, it sparkles in the sun. Oh, I'll hold on to it in a second. Alrighty. Say goodbye, Jared. Goodbye, Jared.